What's up, Bravehearts community? This is Sean Heineman, your premier pre-engagement coach, back with another segment of A Scary to Be Married, wanting you to love fearlessly. Today is an episode that I am so passionate about. Some of you know we're going to discuss child support and what you can do and just helping the ladies out here today. And I have a great guest today, but first, let me tell you a little bit about today's Yeah, she's no stranger to the show, but her resume is impressive. <laughs> Today's guest is a woman of faith, mom of two boys, speaker, blogger, podcaster, and author of two books, Do It Anyway, and the 31-day devotional Parent, Thrive, and Win. She is also the founder of Spanish for Black Girls, and we're going to talk about so many of her other products today when we find time at the end of the show so make sure that you stay tuned she has also been featured in in nbc good morning america black enterprise glamour abc oprah daily the list goes on and on brave arts community let's show some love to the beautiful the lovely k wanda lamb how are you doing Hey, y'all. Well, thank you. Wow, 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 wow. I forgot about some of those, but yay. Glad to be here. <laughs> yeah, you have that impressive resume. I said, oh my God, I'm gonna have to cut it short a little bit. <laughs> listen, listen, anytime I can share about how to thrive as a single mom, I will do it. And so when folks are looking for an expert, they call me. I'm like, okay, sure. Yes, ABC. Yes, I'll, I'll come. <laughs> yes, NBC. I know that's right. I want to talk about today's topic, child support. You did a video, put that man on child support. I shared it across all my social media platforms because I was like, let her preach. We need to get this word out here. So what inspired you to do that IG reel on the topic of child support? You know what? My own story, because I was thinking about in 2020, how um, when I, it finally dawned on me, y'all, that I needed to request a modification. I was like, you know, it's a pandemic. We're going, you know, I've been going through, I've been doing all this stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, um, when I say going through, one of the, my kids broke an elbow in 2012, one broke an ankle in 2016. I'm, you know, the sole provider, so I'm paying for everything. And he thinks that that $600 he was sending was a lot. And, you know, bare, bare communication between us, barely any after all these years. And um, those early moments, the, the frustration, the way that, you know, he behaved kind of stuck with me, you know, it scared me a little bit in the beginning, I'm just going to be honest. Yeah. And so I realized that after I moved to Texas and requested, you know, a modification and actually tried to get child support, because when I was in Louisiana, he wasn't paying, they acted like they couldn't find him. And I was like, he's like right here, <laughs> you know, this is where he works. Why can't y'all make him help, help me? Mm -hmm. And so I get to Texas, they, they do that, but literally nothing had been changed. And I've been in Texas 14 years. Mm -hmm. And so I wanted to make sure that women didn't do what I did. They didn't let these people's personalities, the fact that what they might do, um, uh, even when we say to ourselves, because I said it too, I'm just going to let whatever he sends come in, whatever they get from him come in. I'm going to, you know, expect that the state does this. They don't. Because, you know, when you're in the middle of it, when you're raising your kids, you're not thinking about all this stuff. You know, you're reacting and you're trying to be proactive as well in life and you're just going about your business. And so don't be like me, ladies. I decided that I wanted to tell women, check in, do your yearly modification. For some people, it's easy. For the rest of us, we're like, listen, it, it seems like a hassle, Um that's another piece of mail that I got to get to that I got to, you know, handle when you're in the throes of it with all this stuff piled on top of you. Sometimes it's not as easy as black and white. And, you know, I was busy building businesses, serving other people, um, but it stuck, it, that stuck in my mind and I didn't want any trauma. So anyway, long story short, that my own experience. And then one of my girlfriends did a video about why won't these men help take care of their kids or why won't they come see their kids? And then that was the last straw. And I was like, let me tell you what I've learned over the years. Just put that man on child support and go live your life. Because it's a futile question. It's futile mm -hmm. to, to ask somebody who knows who was there for the delivery, who was there when you were pregnant, to come see their kids, to come help you with them. You've kept the lines of communication open and they're not doing it. It's because they don't want to. Put that man on child support and live your life. Mm. I know that's right 
I said, I'm going to share this across all my platforms because I, I know there's been some people uh, in my social media uh, platform that talk about this very thing. And I'm like, maybe this video will help you today. <laughs> maybe somebody going to get a breakthrough on this. And they did. Thank you for sharing it, by the way. A lot of women, you know, uh, responded to it. They messaged me and they were like, you know, I'm in the same predicament. And I'm just like, listen. And then there are women who messaged me and they were like, I'm doing all right by myself. So I'll put him on child support when I need it. And I was like, that's how we all think, right? But life happens. We just went through a pandemic that none of us thought. And we're in a recession that nobody expected. Well, you know, people predicted it, but folks weren't listening, right? Mm -hmm. And that's kind of typically probably what happens after natural disasters and that, that global pandemics, right? Mm -hmm. But, um, you know, now that we're in this recession, since you need your coins, you, you, need, your, you need the coins you're making and you need the coins that he should be giving you rightfully. So one of my friends was like, he has a moral responsibility, moral, ethical, parental responsibility to help take care of the children that he fathered. And this is the truth. Now, I wouldn't even be, I wouldn't have even done that because for two years, I didn't put him on child support. I talked to him. I'd had the second baby. Mm -hmm. And I was, when we were two months when I was two months pregnant, we broke up, broke up because somebody was in the street. Somebody really wasn't trying to be, you know, with me and, and, and raise his kids. We broke up. And so um, we were in that good phase of trying to, you know, communicate and co-parent. And I was being a big girl and my heart was broken and I was crying and, you know, but I'm like, you know what, this ain't for me. I can't, I can't be with somebody that's doing all this. Mm -hmm. Um but I can co-parent. I can be big girl enough to co-parent, you know, to have these conversations. And for a little bit, it was it was working. And then he started, you know, not doing the distance of helping, of getting the older baby, of coming to help with the younger one. Me never having a weekend off. Mm -hmm. And we lived in the same city, you know. So I I, I went through that for three years, y'all. And I, I was like, let me go about my life. Let me go about my dreams. Let me go about my goals. Mm -hmm. So I started doing that and I relocated to Texas and the rest is history. Mm -hmm. So when you find yourself in that position, you have to really start thinking about what are the steps that I can do? And then how can I go to my happy place sooner? How can me and my kids be good? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. Because I mean, put them on child support, like, like your friend said, if she's good financially, but life happens, you know, and then because you get that money coming life in happens. <sighs> Yeah, I'm here. You keep going, keep going. Yeah, you, you get the money coming in. I, there, there's never a shortage of money. I mean, I don't know how many people that's like, I'm good without it. Like, I mean, come on, you raising a kid. You can we give all me can do that. And let me tell y'all what y'all can do with that money. Not to cut you off, Sean, if you want to mm -hmm. say more, but I want to I wanna tell y'all what you could do with that money. You, some women make six figures, some women have really good jobs, some women make really good five figures. I was making $26,000 a year with two kids working at a mortgage company. Mm -hmm. This was 20 years ago. Mm -hmm. um, I needed support. I needed help. It was cool when I was single right out of college as an entry level job, but it's not cool to try to raise three kids on $26,000. Mm -hmm. And the judge ordered him to pay $300 for two kids. I had to go through years years before we ever got to 600 and then he finished out all through their teen years now you know these kids eat you know these kids are in sports you know we everywhere you know these shoes cost over a hundred dollars for these big feet all of these things so the reason why you need to put that man on child support especially if he isn't co-parenting with you and helping you with your children is that you could think about it if we all had the wisdom that we have now and i'm gonna give it to some of y'all so y'all can go on and do this you could go ahead and get a 529 plan where you can put money away for your kids' college tuition. You could be putting money in there. You could be investing in stock for these babies. You could be putting up savings accounts. You know, they ain't really paying, they, they ain't paying no money on these savings accounts, but you can have something there. You can start buying property. But see, when, when you're in the struggle and when you're, you're just not thinking about it and you're only surviving, you don't have these ideas, mm. right? And, and I know that there are women who are on, on different levels out there, but what I'm saying is don't be like me. Don't let these dudes um, intimidate you. You know what I mean? And some of them are crazy. We know that, right? So, you know, get yourself protected as well. Mm -hmm. But it's just so strange 
But that's what you can do. You can put that money up for a rainy day. You can grow your emergency fund. Um, so don't sit up and say, I'm going to do all the work because you didn't do all the work by yourself. He had a really good time helping you make that baby. Breach. Breach. <laughs> hey, we can end right there. <laughs> We have in church right now. That's that's real talk. That's real talk. It's 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 too many. You know, I always say we we have too too many of these young guys. They know how to be lovers before providers. You know, they they can do the thing in the bed, but anything outside of it is like really. You know, so and great ideas. I'm glad you talked about that, like investing and being able to buy properties. There's we can always use that money. Fifteen years down the line. It's a great investment. Listen, no, I could have been in a different financial position had this man paid what he should have been paying to help with his children. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. and, 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 and so that here's another thing to that. When I, I just said I could have been in a different financial position, when the man hears that, he's like, oh, I'm not helping her. I'm not trying to help mm -hmm. her. She's just trying to take my money to get her nails done and get her hair done and do this and do that. And so for so long, I said it till I was blue in the face. I said, what you're sending does not pay the rent. It barely pays the food bill. Nobody is taking what you're sending and splurging and living their best life. I'm grateful that the state, you know, helped make sure I got money coming in consistently because for five years, there wasn't anything coming. Mm. Okay. Mm. All right. And so again, um, then when I went to go request the increase, finally it dawned on me, um, the lady was like, it's too late because he's about to exit out in about six months. So, you know, the, the process is going to take this long. It's going to take that. Honestly, I, I really should have got an attorney a long time ago. Mm -hmm. You know, people, you know, we're young. We think we can't afford it. Mm -hmm. um sometimes yes the state can do this but if you get an attorney this is in retrospect now mm -hmm. um should have just gotten an attorney because I remember a friend who was like oh yeah I didn't go through the state I got an attorney you know mm -hmm. and she was getting way more money I have a friend her and her husband they pay child support for his stepdaughter way more fourteen hundred dollars a month for one child mm -hmm. right and I had to make it by busting my behind, being a teacher, building my businesses. That's a large people like, why don't you start your business? Passion, purpose. And then, yes, you have to pay me to help you so I can take care of my family. Right. It's a win win situation. I'm going to give you what I got. You give me what you got. I feel good about it. You feel good about it. It's a positive exchange. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? But that's a large part of, you know, how I got started. Mm -hmm. Um you know, I, I knew God was like, I want you to do this and I want you to do that. But then after I was doing it, I was like, oh, now, girl, we got to monetize this. How we, this is a lot of work. This is a lot of me giving us a lot. Of, I'm taking time away from my kids. I'm taking the knowledge, the pain, the experience, and I'm putting it in a practical way for other women to change their lives. Yes, you should pay me for that. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? That's and right. so um, I just, I, all this hard work that I've been doing, all those accolades and all that stuff you put out there. Um, it was to help me too. You know what I mean? It was to help me too. It helped me process. And then it makes me so happy to help other women. It gives me so much joy. Yeah. Put that man on child support, sis. If you out here talking about, I could just do it myself. I make this right now. Baby, listen, jobs lay off people. We have seasons where we need to, you know, look for a job. I was an educator. I was in a position I didn't like. You know, the people were you know, the word for it, I didn't have the word for it. And I was like, I'm feeling like this is racism. I'm feeling like this is, you know, like um, all the other people are being favored and then I'm being picked on. I didn't have the words for it. Now we find that it's called workplace trauma, mm -hmm. right? So mm -hmm. I'm, I'm going through that. I'm raising these boys as a single mom. I'm building businesses. I'm busting my behind, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And being there for my kids, right? Not not being detached, not being depressed, not being aloof. You know, I'm there, I'm in a thick of it. And mm -hmm. so, you know, these men ought to come back to, to their exes and say, thank you. That's what they ought to be doing. Mm -hmm. yeah, I hope God pricks their hearts. Come back and say, thank you. Like, it ain't too late. You ain't do what you had to do all them 10 years. Send me a check. <laughs> you can still send me a check. That's send right. Me a check so I can give it to them. So we can start them some investments, okay? Mm -hmm. I've already talked to my boys about these kind of things because as I learn, whatever my mistakes were, mm -hmm. I'm making sure they start out not doing any of that. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But so you can send us a check. 
Don't just give us, I'm sorry. You can send us a check too. Come on, write, write it up. 10, 20, 30, <laughs> we'll take it. Come on. That's right. That's right. I, got, I, I had to pay alimony and child support for about a year before I got my daughter full time. And uh, I remember one time I thought I missed a payment and I, I paid double. Yep. I was like, I'm not cared. about to play with that because there's cared. people out here, people I know personally, they owe five, six years of child support back, back child support. And I'm like, why would you put yourself in that kind of hole? I was tripping off of one month and, and I doubled up. It wasn't that I missed it. So I don't know. You know people out here, they, I don't know. They so you want to talk about what makes a man not do it. I'll tell you what makes a man not want to pay child support, right? Because mm-hmm. um, that's what I'm hearing in your statement. I know we kind of talked about this. Yeah. So I don't have all the answers because every individual is different. Of course. But I can tell you that it's a choice. It's a choice. It's easier, they say, out of sight, out of mind. But see, when my boys are out of my sight, I'm calling to check on them. Mm-hmm. When I'm traveling the, the world, you know, when I'm in Mexico, Costa Rica, DR, anywhere, mm-hmm. hey, did you eat today? What you eat? What you doing? What my house look like? Mm-hmm. Okay. Are you up on time for work? And I, I know that's just being a mama. Did you like my house? Duh, 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 duh. You know, um, <laughs> my youngest called me in, in Mexico talking about I'm hungry. I say, well, boo, you have money. You have a job. They have DoorDash. We, you got all these places you can go to. You can walk to them. You can call somebody, have it ordered and delivered. I am not ordering you food. I did. I did a couple times, but I was, <laughs> but I was just like, we breaking the cord. We, we cutting the umbilical cord. Yeah, I'm not ordering you food from Mexico, bro. <laughs> I'm not doing it. Yeah, right. So I'm gonna help you grow up. But anyway, but anyway, so that's what I'm telling you about a mother's love. And I know that that you are just as passionate about your daughter, you know, and you want you want to know where your baby is. You want to know that your baby's all right. You want to know that your baby's protected. And so some of these people get to a point, I think, to where it's embarrassment and shame. Right. Because the, let's talk about the realty of when he, you know, came to his kids 18th, you know, graduation. And I'm just like, what man thinks it's OK to come to miss all these other things and come to the 18th graduation? Like it's so important to come to the 18th. Do whatever. So he comes and, you know, they smile, but it's just like, oh, that's my dad. I know that's my dad, but that I don't really do we hug. What? How do we get in the picture? You know, we have his mentors there, all our other friends and people are there who who have been standing in the gap mm. while you haven't been here mm. for your babies. These people have been at every game. They beat me to the games. Mm. They beat me to the games. And they, and they give lavish birthday presents and Christmas presents and call yeah. and encourage and talk to your kids. And, and so I'll say this to, to the men that watch this. Mm. Even if you have, you, you, you're thinking about, like I said, back in the day when you had this drama with your ex, mm-hmm. ain't nobody sitting up thinking about all that with y'all right now. If you haven't communicated with that woman, go back and say, hey, I want to start seeing my child. I want to I want to make this right. I might not be able to pay this $40,000 in back child support right mm-hmm. now, but I'm, I'm going to start working on it. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, and I want to make sure that y'all are good. I want to have a connection because the more that we keep, the more that society keeps on having babies, not taking care of babies, you're creating cycles. And I was like, oh, hell no, my boys won't be in this cycle. Yep. They won't be in this cycle of learning that this is how you treat a woman. You just use them for what you want, make babies with them and move on to the next woman. Mm-hmm. And so um, I would say that I think there's some shame and embarrassment there for them. But then also, let's just talk about some of these people are low down. OK, mm-hmm. maybe they would say they're not in that category of low down. Yeah. But, bro, you low down because sit, sit and process and take your butt to therapy. The money you're going to pay the therapist, you can send to your kids. OK, mm-hmm. but do that, too. Um, you know, it's, 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 it's sad. I don't have the answers, but I think yeah. it's a combination of I don't want to because I can. I'm embarrassed to come back. Me and old girl has some beef and you got to put all of that aside and make sure these kids are good so that they don't keep going through, you know, looking at my boy's face and Sean, I'm going to say this, I'm going to be quiet because y'all know I can talk. Looking at my boy's faces, I can still see those little bitty, beautiful babies, four years old and six years old at school yeah. and have donuts. It was called bring your daddy to work day or have donuts with dad or something. I had that before. 
And um, one of my coworkers, um, she was like, my son is working and they can't come today. So I'm going to go over and have, you know, breakfast with my grandson, John. Would you like me to also sit with the boys? Yes, because it's at the time of morning where they're all in the cafeteria. Mm -hmm. And so the kids whose parents aren't there or whose dad can't come or who doesn't have a dad are sitting there. And it's the it's the most dehumanizing feeling. Mm. You know what I mean? I cried so many times. Oh, I cried so many times mm. when they were little. And they would ask me, why is my dad not here? Mm. You know? And um, in the beginning, he promised for three years in a row that he would get the kids during the summer. Because when I tell you, when you're working hard as a single mom and you're doing everything, you're cooking, you're cleaning, you're working, you're building, you're doing everything. Mm. All you want is a nap. All you want is a break. All you want is for somebody to stop saying, mama, you know, we love you. We love to hear it. And even when they're gone and we know they're safe, we'd be thinking about them. But you need that downtime. Every human needs like to be able to reset, right? Mm -hmm. And so that's why I talk to women about if these dudes won't help take care of the kids, that's why we need to build community. And I write about that in my first book that we talked about. But anyway, yeah, um, you know, she sat with them, and that's when I realized I need to have good people around them. You know, mm -hmm. good men and women, and that would build the community that would help them feel loved and supported. And they've had that, but that didn't, that doesn't mean it took the place of them not wanting their dad to be there, but now as young adults. Yeah. They'd be Let like me, that. Yeah. I want to pivot because I was, uh, I was on your Facebook page the other day and I seen your older son, he got his blue belt in Brazilian jujitsu. Right. <laughs> and I, I, I want to kind of understand a backstory. Is that something that he wanted to do? Or was that something that you was like, Hey, I think you will be, I think you will rock out in this. Like, what was that story like? Like, was that something that he chose to do? That's something that he chose to do. So in hmm. eighth grade, he fell in love with wrestling. And one of his coaches came to me. I didn't know anything about wrestling. And um, he was like, I think he'd be really good at wrestling. And I want him to be on the team. Hmm. And you know how if you have a great coach and teacher in your life, I've been an educator for 17 years, right? Yeah. You, I have kids that just love me. They're grown men and women now. And they just always message me like they literally feel my inbox queen. <laughs> You know, and I'll be like, why, girl, what you talking about, queen? <laughs> you know, babies are different, you know, different ethnicities. And so when you have a teacher that impacts your life, and I love it, I love them, um, you know, because I say queen. And so um, when you have people that impact your life, it really takes you a long way. And so he was blessed to have great mentors all along the way. And when that guy saw that in him, I didn't see it. You know, he was in eighth grade. He was tall, but he was slender. He's always been like that tall, slender kid like me. Well, he's put on some you know, muscles and stuff now, but, um, you know, he was always muscular, but he was, he was thin. He was lanky with it, you know? Mm -hmm. And so anyway, he had his first duel y'all. And it was a much bigger kid that he was dueling against in eighth grade. And I was up in the, in the, in the bleachers about to scream. Oh my God, this dude gonna hurt my baby. And he's just sitting there prouncing and dancing and smiling and doing his hands like this in his little wrestling position. When I say my child picked up, <laughs> and I was just like, ah, and that's when I knew I was like, oh, he's gonna be all right. Mm. And so he was a varsity. He entered ninth grade um going with the varsity. He was that good. And so he just kept on going up and going up. And I really wanted him to go to college. I wanted him to wrestle in college. He was also excellent in football and you know, he was a running back. And um his dad played football. Mm. I got them in football when they were younger. And um, it would have been great if he would have taught them, but he did. Yeah, and yeah. so other men came along the way. Mm -hmm. So anyway, the story about jujitsu is since he was a wrestler, now that he's an adult and he works for himself, he has his own business and he's an insurance adjuster. I'm so proud of him. Um, he decided he didn't want to go to college because he wanted to get to his bag sooner and he didn't want to incur debt. And I was like, I'm going to help you do whatever you need to do. You don't have to incur debt and let's get these scholarships. He wanted to do all of that. He wanted to go straight to where the money was. Mm -hmm. And so he's doing really good. Um, and to stay in shape, he started doing jujitsu. Mm -hmm. And so um, let me tell you, he has moved up to um, blue belt in like less than two years because the pandemic stopped a lot of it. Mm -hmm. He started in 2019 yeah. and his, um, his professor or his master at the dojo, which I don't even know if it's called a dojo, y'all. I'm I'm thinking about Cobra Kai. I don't even know. Don't even don't even be mad at me. That's funny. 
Um, listen, at the place, okay, mm, at the jiu-jitsu yeah. place, I don't even know what it's called, mm. at the Brazilian jiu-jitsu place was like, he'll be a black belt in 10 years if he keeps going. And mm. I was just like, wow. Mm. And that's something that he loves. He enjoys it. And that, that wasn't something I pushed them into, but I did start them in karate when they were young because I wanted them to, you know, have an activity. Mm-hmm. I wanted them to have, um, you know, community. And I, I paid for it for a while. And then I was like, ooh, this is $100 a month. I don't know. Because remember, we weren't making what we need, needed and people weren't paying what they needed to pay. Mm-hmm. So Yeah. And I, I yeah. asked that because I was wondering how important was uh, community was in his life and getting him to, it, granted with dad not being there other men being there to fill in to help give him the necessary structure and discipline you know i can see mm-hmm. i can see the difference in the men that i've placed around them and into how they become and even how i am and so what's funny is his 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 instructor is one of the original five machado brothers um mm-hmm. who you know are you know big time and they have all these they all have their own places all over the u.s mm-hmm. and um you know, there are posters in there with Bruce Lee and, you know, um, they work with Chuck Norris and, yeah. you know, that, that style that he has. Mm-hmm. And so um, just looking at, at him say to me, he said, you have done an amazing job. And it always shocks me when people come to me and tell me that. I'm like, oh, he's a great individual. He's a great young man. He did it on his own. And he's like, no, we can tell that you've done an amazing job. And so I know I've done an amazing job. I don't always think like, oh, he's a direct product of, you know, how I've raised him. But it's also because of the community that's around him, all of the great men and women that have helped me to raise them. Mm -hmm. They're very respectful. They're very kind. They know who they are. You know what I mean? And it's always been important to me to raise kids who know who they are, know what Mm -hmm. they can do and what they don't have to do. And you don't have to choose to listen to the culture that tells you to be a whore and to sleep around with all the women yeah. and to go make babies and leave them and call women out their name. You don't say have to do that. that. Say that. that. I'm glad you put that in there. I'm so glad you said that. Is there any way, is speaking to those who might not have any kids yet, that they might not, they know that this guy might be a dead, be dead? Like, is there any way that you can know ahead of time? Are there any red flags or is there anything, or is it just kind of the chance you take? And I'm, I'm asking out of ignorance because sometimes as a man, I can see somebody from a mile away and be like, you probably don't want to mess with him. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to say, you know, <laughs> and, and I am guilty of picking somebody, right, who was all the red flags. But I, I my story was different. I'm not going to go into the story. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not even going to the story because y'all can't handle it right now. <laughs> and, and they can we'll go back and visit we'll our last memoir. Movie. Yeah. We'll tell in a memoir. Um, I will say that I want all women to start thinking about what they really want in a relationship and who they are. I wrote a book called The Love Plan ebook. It's on my website and in my Instagram. Mm-hmm. For those of you who are thinking about dating and you're like, I just really don't want to pick the, the same guy again. I don't want to pick, you know, I really don't want to end up because even I can look back at some of those relationships that I've been in. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, this is the same guy. I'm like, oh, okay, God, we got to restructure this. We got to you know, flesh this out and change this. Mm-hmm. Right. And mm-hmm. so that's, this ebook is based on some of the work that I've, you know, done personally, yeah. and then also help clients to do. Mm-hmm. And so um, I would say that as you're getting ready to go into dating, stop thinking about what they told us in the movie. Stop thinking about what you learned when you were a kid. Girl, he fine. He looked good. He got a good job. That's not the, quad, that's not the, the that's the floor. Yeah. That's not the, the ceiling. Okay, mm-hmm. so now we need to start getting into those personality, you know, um, traits and things. We need to start really thinking about, is he kind? Is he generous? Is he honorable? Does he lie? Does he cheat? Is he talking to you and five other women? And have y'all been busting it down, you know? <laughs> and, but when he introduced you in public, <laughs> you talking, he's talking about this is my friend. <laughs> no, he don't respect you, sis. Yeah. He doesn't. And, 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 and don't know grown woman. I got loud, didn't I? No grown woman wants to be somebody's friend. I don't want to be your friend. I don't have time to be playing. Don't Mm. nobody have time to be playing. Mm. So you have to be honest with yourself. If you start talking to somebody and this is what they're giving you, that ain't it. He's not ready. And, and yes, we agree with, with, I tell people to date multiple people, you know, be up and honest, but you ain't got to like, 
you know, be doing a do with multiple people. Yeah. You need to be taking applications. Yeah. And so um, if he lies, if he cheats, those are red flags. But then there are some people, Sean, who play the perfect role. Mm -hmm. So you got to watch out for them too. Yeah. And so you need to give yourself time when you're dating folks. So I, I once heard somebody say, you need to get to know people through seasons, mm -hmm. you know, spring, summer, winter, fall, go through a season, go through different seasons with these people. How do they behave when they're angry? You know, how do they treat people who can't do anything for them? I'm always watching for these, you know, these, these, you know, like, how do you treat other people? You know, when, when I'm out, when we're out on dates, right? Do you like to talk about your money all the time? That's going to get on my nerves. I need you to have some. Okay. <laughs> I need you to do all of that. But, but people who got, who got real money don't sit and talk about it all day. That's you know what true. I mean? They, they, don't they, they just don't. Problems. Right. Yeah. And so we don't, we don't want these high value men who think that because they have a certain salary, they're going to have you as a toy or a trophy. So you want to start watching out. Now, if that's, if that's your goal, says you want to be a housewife and you, to that kind of guy, go for it. You know, I know it's out there. Um, but I think what you really want is you want to be in a committed, loving relationship where you're respected. Your kids are treated properly. He isn't a pedophile. We got to watch out for all these. You got to pay attention. And I literally have only introduced my boys to two men in the the entire time they've been alive mm. okay i've dated more than two men yeah but i didn't bring them home yeah you know what i mean because you got to go through my tests yep. so before you get attached to my kids so my kids are going to get attached to you because they they don't their dad isn't doing what he needs to do mm -hmm. you know what i mean mm -hmm. now that they're older you know they just they be like you going out huh you going out and they like to crack jokes i'd be like get out of my business <laughs> <laughs> so 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 I don't think there's a way to um, totally avoid it, but I do yeah. think that we need to pay attention to what people show us and we don't need to tuck it away back here because mm. let me just say this last thing, mm. who you marry, and that's why I'm not married, who you marry has the ability to affect the trajectory of your life. It's so yeah. important. Yeah. You got to, you got to get with a purpose partner because I know, I know I'm supposed to be everywhere all over the world. I can't be with somebody who don't like to travel. I can't be with somebody who, who's like, oh, you, you talk to single moms over here. Well, I don't want to do that. I don't want to help you in that business. Oh, no, I, I need the brother that's going to be like, let's get it, sis. You in Charlotte next weekend? Let's go. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I got you. You know, mm -hmm. what, what you need me to help you do? You know, you need purpose partners. And I'm going to do the same for whatever his endeavors are. So, you know, um, please, 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 please don't take this lightly. Don't don't let your, your flesh be so strong mm -hmm. that you pick that dude again okay it's time to pick different all right that's all i'm saying i know that's right uh what makes a man get with another woman take care of another woman kids and doesn't take care of his own like what is what advice would you give to that woman mm, to the woman who marries the guy well you know what i found out you know in in this case was that sometimes these people don't talk about their past. They don't even share with the woman mm. that they have other kids. But that doesn't stop us from when we're dating to ask, hey, so do you have kids? Do you see, oh, you do? You, oh, you have three kids? Okay, that's, that's cool. Are you on child support? Mm -hmm. do, you, do you pay child support yourself or did she have to put you on child support? Mm. Right there. That's good. That's how you're gonna know if you got you a good one. Do you, did you put yourself on child support? Do you, you know, pay, you know, on your own every month? How much do you pay her? Or does she have to go through the court system to get you put on child support? Oh, we need to know. We need That's to know. good. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, and I know in your instance, you were going through a divorce, so they just tackled all of that right then as they were doing the proceedings for you. Oh, but, yeah. but, but we need to be asking questions. But a lot of times we're in that hungry state. I, I see a lot of these women. They're just like, shoot, I got to get mine. As long as me and my kid are good. And that's literally what it is. So, so humans are, humans compartmentalize sometimes. I really think what it is, is, oh, well, she don't want to do what I want her to do. So I'm not going to help her with the kids. Mm -hmm. She don't want to listen to me. She don't want to let me come back and forth to her. Mm -hmm. She closed the cookie jar to me. Yeah. You know, all the stuff these dudes do, some of these people are manipulative, right? Mm -hmm. For real. Mm -hmm. And so I'm not going to help her, whatever. She can, she can, she can just struggle. She can just this or that. She, mm -hmm. she can figure it out. You know, that's, that's, that's a percentage of them. I, I ain't going to say it's all of y'all, yeah. but yeah. until you men start speaking up about why you do what you do, why you're not helping to pay child support for your kids, why you've gone and married somebody else and you got a whole family over here, you started 
And so a lot of it is, I think, too, people don't know how to communicate. Mm. I want to be a whore. You don't want me to be a whore. Mm. Uh, so I'm going to leave. I'm going to leave you and the kids. And I'm going to go over here with somebody that's going to let me do what I want to do. Mm. Somebody that might be like I am. Somebody that might not know that this is what I like to do. Maybe I have changed a little bit for this lady. Or maybe I haven't really changed. Maybe, you know, I, you know I'm slick with it. Who knows? I can't, I can't say what the man doing, but I will say that um, for somebody to go and also marry somebody else, sometimes these dudes, and I, t- I, have, I have to coach women through this. I'm like, girl, sometimes it ain't she better than you. He didn't marry me, but he married her. I don't want your hand in marriage. It's fine. Marry whoever you want. That wasn't anything. You weren't showing me anything to marry. Why would I want to marry that? Mm -hmm. You know, people try to tell me to marry him. And we talked about that last time. And I was like, I'm not marrying that man. The man sleeping around. The man ain't having kids now. No. You know, just because y'all want to look good in society, can't be an unwed mother. Well, go on on and put unwed on my chest. (laughs) Put put an S on my chest. Mm -hmm. You know, go and give me the scarlet letter. I don't (laughs) care about none of y'all. Y'all ain't paying my bills. Y'all ain't helping me now. One day, all y'all doing is this. Okay. Mm -hmm. So why should I be in an unhappy relationship, dangerous relationship? Because I was going to beat his his bigger than me behind. Okay, do you hear me? And I ain't violent. But I knew, like, I was such a nice, sweet, and calm person, Mm y'all. I was such a nice, sweet, and dainty, and naive, and good church girl, and a virgin, okay, when I met this dude. And I would have never said things that I just said right now, but the, the, but the, but life has, life has caused me to be a mama bear, a protector, a defender of myself, mm-hmm. because now I have the strength to, right? Mm-hmm. And so I'm going to let you know, it's not going to go the way you think, okay? Yeah. So let's not even go down this road, because I'm not going to put up with it. So let me let you go get with somebody that's going to put up with the stuff you want to do. And so, anyway, y'all, I love did, that. did that scare my future? Did that scare my future mates <laughs> off? Or did that or did that make you make you be like, let me let me let me holler and shit a little spicy? <laughs> I don't know. You you might you might get some. You know, somebody might slide in the DM. You know, what I'm saying maybe in the know. DMs every day, child. Let me oh, see. I'm sure. I be like, delete, delete. <laughs> This is not the way you approach a woman, sir. Just, you know, say hi, but don't be like, God told me you my wife. Oh my <laughs> they still <laughs> doing that. They ain't even respond. Oh my God. So, they still doing so that in 2022. They doing God it. And it's probably working for them. They probably messaging 20, 30 women a day. But listen, yeah. let's say this. Let me say this last thing. Yeah. Because I know the way I talk is a little deeper. It's, it's underneath the surface. Like I'll talk about the spiritual. I'll talk about what I see behind because that's that's one of my gifts. Mm-hmm. And um, I love it. I love I, it. I, and I think that one of the things that that we do when we're hurting, when we're not healed, when we feel like as a single mom we need a man, some money, and some me time, that sometimes we make decisions that cause us to date, you know, the same person or date in cycles or in patterns. Yep. And so. I'm all for you having a good man. You got remarried. You found your good wife. We talked about that in the last episode, right? Mm -hmm. Um, The money. So Mm -hmm. yes, it'll be great if it comes to the child support. It'd be great if, you know, your your new boo, you know, takes care of you and y'all work together. And, you know, it's great if y'all could do all that. Then there are ways that we also need, like me, I went back to school multiple times. I, you know, built some side hustles, built some businesses, right? Caused me to do some work, but there was a way that I could bring the extra money in, right? Mm -hmm. And then the me time, I had to learn how to compartmentalize my life, learn how to get a babysitter sometimes, learn how to find people that I trusted so that I could do those things. So we, so what I'm saying, ladies, is I don't want you to think that you have to you know, date beneath or, or date like somebody who you can see as a red flag is very similar to what you already had. We want different in 2022. Yes. That's yes. all I'm saying. We yes. want better. We expect better. We want men who do better. And so you've got to begin to elevate to that level. All right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no, I no, I love that. Uh, last words. What advice can you give to a young lady who might have had a baby? didn't work out between her and the child father. And she's really come to the realization that this guy is not going to help me. Um, It's going to be a struggle for me to pay child support. What kind of uh, help or advice can you give to these young ladies? Because there's a lot of them. And I hope Mm -hmm. this video can give them some encouragement. So after those two babies and what I went through, I haven't had any more children. Mm -hmm. 
awesome. Okay. I yeah. love my babies. I love my boys. I wanted to have a girl. I just knew I would marry later. I didn't really prioritize it. I should have. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to say that just make sure that we, we cut the, you know, the cord, the, the ability to come mm. back and forth, you know, to someone, we don't want to see a baby number one or two that they're doing this. And then we get to five. Okay. So make sure yeah. we stop that. Yeah. Um, I want you to sit down and assess your situation. I want you to look at, you know, what do you have coming in? You know, what are the actual bills that you have? And I talk about this in my single mom success bundle. Like really it's the, the first thing I want you to get besides my two books. And that's also, you know, on my website, kwandalam.com and in, you know, my Instagram. Mm -hmm. But, you know, when you encounter someone who doesn't help you, you've asked them, you've talked to them, have the conversation with the man, okay? And if he is saying like, I'm not gonna help you, if you, if y'all have broken up, mm -hmm. you know, um, it, you know, sometimes there are women who are like, I got a baby by this dude, he makes less money than me. That doesn't mean he can't support you, right? That doesn't mean he can't go get a job. I don't even wanna hear it anymore, not today with all this remote work and all the side hustles and the things that we can do. We hear stories of immigrants coming here working three, four, and five jobs. Yep. So I don't want to hear that. You mm -hmm. know, we're not letting people off the hook. You can go more mow lawns. My yard got come every two weeks. <laughs> and then I'd be like, thank you. Gracias. <laughs> Buah, pagarte. Okay, I'm gonna send you your money and pay you, right? Yeah. And so he knocked on my door, gave me his business card. I was like, bet. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And it's a done deal. He come, I don't have to call him. He just do what he got to do. And then I send him his money. Yep. Okay. There is a way. And 20 years ago, we had to figure some stuff out. In 2022, no excuses. Yep. Go get a second job. Go, go get some of this remote work. Start your own business. Mm -hmm. Do some side hustles. Ask for extra hours at work. We do not want to hear from these men that they don't have the money to help us take care of their kids. Mm -hmm. Okay. Everybody hiring. Everybody, everybody is hiring and they got, yeah. and Google got certifications. And that's another thing that I, I'm going to say this last thing too, for us single moms, had I known, I would have gone into technology for some of y'all, y'all already in tech. Okay. For some of us, like me, I was in education. I kept trying to level up that way through that route, getting all them student loans, you know, getting all these different degrees and they're serving me. Right. Mm -hmm. But um, I had to build my own things with it. So let's just say, Go get you one of them Google certifications, sis. Okay. They Google giving them away for free or for $38 with Coursera. Wow. So we don't have to sit up and stay at a certain income level, you know. And I, in my bundle, I talk about, you know, side hustles and how to build one and all of this. It's really good. Like I'm trying to cover the whole range mm -hmm. of what you're going to encounter for, for 97 bucks. It's going to change your life. Mm -hmm. It's going to help you get your money together. It's going to help you get you together, you know, grab it. But, you know, I would say, you're going to cry. Your feelings are going to be hurt. You're going to be torn. You're going to go through that. That's part of the coaching that I do. So if you need some support through it, you know, reach out, but go through your healing process, you know, release what isn't serving you. If he is gone, he doesn't want to help put the man on child support and do, like I said, sit down and assess where you are. After you assess where you are, you need to think about where do you want to go? Mm -hmm. Okay. If you have things that are pressing right now, there are lots of services that are available to help you. So what you got to start doing, like I had to do, is start seeking and looking around and see what's there. Yeah. Okay. And, and depending on your state, some of them might be swift to help you with child support. Some might be a little slow. So call them people, worry them people. <laughs> okay. And do mm -hmm. what you got to do. And if you need more, just reach out to me on Instagram, send me a message, and I'll be glad to, to you know, give you some ideas and stuff. Mm. And what's the website? That everybody oh, you want. can go to kwandalam.com mm -hmm. and um, kwandalam.com is my first business, my first blog, my first website is everything. It's my heart to single mothers. And there's so much information in the blog post on there about dating, about finances, about parenting. So mm -hmm. go over there and get your life together. And when you need more, like I said, um, the books will change your life. The bundle will change your life. Mm -hmm. And um, I have a Facebook group as well. It's called Winning Single Moms mm -hmm. with Kay Wanda Lamb. I'm moving it over to a new one that we're starting, um, but you can request to, to join there and then you'll be moved into the new group when we get ready. Mm -hmm. But honey, listen, we are not out here struggling in 2022 anymore. I've done the struggle. I've done the, 
tears. I've done the crying. We're going to put that man on child support and move on with our lives. Mm, I know that's right. Well, I want to thank you for taking some time out of your busy day to be a guest on this Scary to Mary. I want to also just quickly acknowledge you for being a great mom, um, for being an inspiration for so many single moms and having the uh, the ability to build businesses and inspire people and, and still raise kids and, and still impact people around the world. So I just want to acknowledge you for those things and continue to do what you're doing. Uh, thanks again for taking some time out of your day. Brave Hearts community, make sure you go to kwandalam.com. I'll have that connected in the show notes or maybe in the description. So that way you can just click the link right there, go to a website, pick up all her awesome resources. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, share this video with a friend, because I'm sure you probably know somebody you got a dead be dead. They need this and it's going to help change somebody's life. Also, make sure you leave a rating and review on Apple Podcasts. If you are listening to this via audio, make sure you leave a rating and review that puts you in the uh, in the drawing for an Amazon gift card. We'll shout you out on the show as well. This is Sean Heineman at A Scared to Remarry, your premier pre-engagement coach with special guest. Wanda Lamb. All right, Brave Hearts community. Take care.